Disassembly of a two cycle leaf blower motor. First, spin the fan and feel the compression as the air is compressed by the piston through the cylinder. Second, remove the fan blade with the closed end wrench. Just loosen it up and take it off with the fingers. Remove the washer, lock washer, washer, pull the plastic fan out, and notice there's a metal clip inside. Set it aside. Second, remove the tube that holds the flywheel separate from the fan. Third, remove the flywheel, and for older students, you can notice the two very powerful magnets which are used in the electronic ignition system. This is the crankshaft. It will still turn. The next thing to remove would be the spark plug. Use the large open-ended wrench. Loosen it up and remove it by hand. Now spin the crankshaft again with the fingers and notice that there's no compression and in fact you can see the piston move up and down in the cylinder if you look carefully in the spark plug hole. The third item to remove and for this you use a Torx wrench with the smaller Torx driver head. Loosen the screws with the driver until they can be removed by hand. And this is going to be the crankcase cover and that will allow the student to see exactly what is going on inside the engine. Pull the plastic cover off and then examine the inside and you should see a crank, a connecting rod that hooks the piston up to the crank and a, and a large counterweight. You might ask the students what the purpose of that counterweight is and again spin it and see what's happening. And you'll also notice two holes on either side uh, of the cylinder. The last thing, the next to the last thing we're going to remove is the cylinder. And for that we're going to use a larger Torx driver in the same holder and you'll notice that there are two different size holes in the cylinder head one large and one small for this one you use the large one unscrew it until it's loose and then for the smaller you you will use an allen key slides down hooks to the Allen key bolt, you unscrew it, and then the cylinder head lifts off. The screw can stay in place, set it aside, and before you do, you might notice that there's some interesting channels inside, and you might also ask the students how smooth the inside of the cylinder is. And then you'll see the whole piston just kind of hanging there loose. And it can slide off the end of the crankshaft, the crank, and be careful to examine the uh, the cylinder and notice this indentation around the top. That normally holds a expansion piston ring, uh, which I've removed to make it easier to reassemble. Uh, that's to increase the compression and increase the fit. Now you can see that the crank is. spinning freely and how it works to transfer the up and down motion of the piston to the rotation of the crankshaft and finally to the fan. And the way the fan works is the air comes in this way through the intake on the leaf blower housing and is forced out outward by centrifugal force through these blades and assembled uh, 
directed to a tube, and this particular one generates 200 miles per hour uh, fan speed. Okay, now to reassemble, just repeat the processes, but notice that the piston can only fit in one way. You'll see a small dot on the connecting rod. That dot must be facing up when you slide it back like this.